Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech5 Production. Temperature monitor on an AIO has been out in the market for quite some time now and it's something that's been getting more popular due to the convenience of being able to check your temperature easily by just straight away glancing at the cooler. But what if I tell you, you can do that too with an air cooler. Like this one. Over here. This is the new Deepcool AK400 Digital, the digital version of their budget-friendly AK400. So for the previous AK400, it was priced at 135 ringgit. So by adding an LED screen on top, how much do you think the price has been increased by? 150? 200 ringgit? No, it's only a 34 ringgit price increase, making the AK400 Digital only priced at 169 ringgit for an air cooler with ARGB and an LED screen on top of it. Before we get into the included accessories and content, let's talk a bit about the ARGB and LED screen that's on the cooler, with the ARGB being more of a subtle accent at the top and bottom side of the cooler. While the LED is able to display information of things such as CPU temperature, and it's also able to show the fan speed of the current CPU cooler that's running. It's nice and simplistic and looks quite similar to the one that we saw previously from Deepcool's casing, the CH510 Mesh Digital that you can check out over here. Now let's move on to the packaging and all the included accessory of the AK400 Digital. The AK400 Digital comes in a full white box with the image of the cooler on top of it and has the signature deep cool green line running across it. I think due to the size of the box, we didn't see the brown cardboard box that we normally see from deep cool's packaging, but this is a nice looking package nonetheless. Inside, you'll see accessory for both Intel and AMD with support for both of their latest platform, the LGA 1700 and AM5 being present in the box with Intel's getting an extra backplate while AMD will be using its own included backplate from their motherboard. In terms of installation, both of the platforms are easy to install with no big issues during the installation. The manual of the AK400 Digital was clear and detailed with pictures and step-by-step -step instruction indicating how to install the cooler. In terms of specification, the dimension of the AK400 is measured at 120 by 60 by 152 millimeter and it's a single tower cooler so it should fit into most casing quite easily without any clearance problem for the RAM or for the VRM heatsink of motherboards. It comes with a single FDB FK120 fan with a fan speed of 500 to 1850 RPM with a CFM of 68.99. The LED screen of the AK400 Digital will have two cables, one for the ARGB header to control the ARGB, and one more USB 2.0 internal header for the LED's display and control. Installing the software for the AK400 Digital is very straightforward. Just download and install the Deepcool software from its website, open the program, and the LED will start to display the temperature of the CPU. The controls of the LED display is quite straightforward and you'll be able to adjust things such as Celsius or Fahrenheit for the CPU temperature and check out the fan speed percentage. And all of this will be controlled through the Deepcool software which is quite hidden as it doesn't have a full-blown windows on it and instead will only be on the bottom right of the windows tray making it to have a more simplistic use of the software. Now the important question Let's see how the AK400 Digital performs if you're planning to get an air cooler to replace your stock cooler. We'll be testing it from an AMD Ryzen 7 7700 and an Intel Core i7-13700KF system and see how it performs. And that was the result. The temperature decrease from the stock Rave Prism for the Ryzen 7 7700 is quite big with an around 20 degree drop overall for the temperature. And besides the temperature improvement, the CPU was also able to clock to a higher clock speed, allowing it to score a higher overall score in our Cinebench R23 30-minute loop. 
we can also see that 13700 kf was able to run at its base power for 30 minute loop for cinebench r23 and the temperature of it during the loop was quite impressive too as it was able to hover nearer to the 70 degree mark for the 13700 kf meaning more power adjustment for even greater clock speed is still available for the AK400 Digital if you want to push the 13700. Besides just raw performance improvement, another benefit for a cooler upgrade would be its acoustic. So here's the sound of the AK400 Digital when the 7700 was under load from Cinebench R23 loop compared to the stock Rave Prism cooler. So who do we think this CPU cooler is suitable for? If you're someone that's looking to upgrade from your stock cooler from your current system, be it Intel or AMD, this is a great cooler to consider. With a rated TDP of up to 220 watt, you'll be able to handle system with i7 or Ryzen 7 without much issues. Also, having the LED display to show your current CPU temp and fan speed is very convenient. Plus, along with clean aesthetic, with only a small ARGB accent making it have a very clean overall aesthetic. And I feel like the Deepcool AK400 Digital will be able to suit a lot of PC builds aesthetic due to its more minimalistic design. That's all for our look and review of the Deepcool AK400 Digital. What do you guys think of it? Will you guys be considering getting one yourself? Let us know in the comments below. And if you find this video to be helpful, do remember to share it to all your friends and family and give this video a like if you like it. That's all from us today. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.